Hi, uh, welcome everybody to Latif's Inspired. Today we're going to be doing one of my personal favorites and it's a fantastic dish. If you want to entertain guests, if you want to treat somebody, this is, a, this is the beautiful recipe. It's a lamb chop dish and it's in a nice curry, nice thick sauce and the flavors are amazing. You're going to be blown away. It's gorgeous, it's fabulous, it's amazing. You must try it. So curried lamb chops guys, thank you very much. Right guys, so I've got my cast iron pot and what I'm going to do is add one cup of vegetable oil, a heated top. Right, the oil is heated up, we're going to add the spices now. Uh, now we're using cassia bark, uh, which is the cinnamon, the Indian cinnamon. This has got like a sweet licorice flavour and it's got, it brings out a nice sweetness and for the lamb, because lamb has a sort of uh, smell to it, so these sort of ingredients would make it fragrant. It's going to be gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So we've got about uh, one, two, three, three uh, of these cinnamons, so they go in. Now we're using the Indian bay leaf, dried bay leaf, about three of them is fine. Two, four, six, eight, ten, about ten uh, cardamom pods. There's various other spices that you can use, but I'm trying to make it nice and simple for you guys to follow. So keeping the ingredients to the basic, really. So just heat this up and uh, brings out the liveliness of the spices. I'm putting this on a medium high heat, guys. I want the oil to be heated before I throw the onions in. So this could take about a couple of minutes, depending on how hot the, the oil is. Right, I've got some onions. This is about two large British onions. I've just diced it up roughly. It doesn't really matter. So that goes in. The oil is very hot, it's popping. Now all I'm gonna do is just soften the onions, guys. The easiest way to soften the onions is adding the salt. There's about two teaspoons of salt here, guys. Depends on the meat. So the more meat you have, the more uh, salt that you need. That, that's gonna get cooked nicely. I'll put the lid on. Let that cook for a few minutes until the onions become soft. Right, it's been a couple of minutes, guys. I'm just gonna go and check on this. If you can hear it, it's getting nice and soft. I think we're in time for the next ingredient. So this is quite a lot, guys. Um, three teaspoons of grated uh, garlic and three teaspoons of ginger. You can get away with one teaspoon each or two teaspoon if you find it overpowering. But because it's lamb, this builds a fantastic flavor. And if you follow these, this recipe, which I'm hoping you will, you would see what the difference. It's going to be beautiful and it's, it's my unique take on it, guys. So it's my tips, my secrets. And, you know, th these are the stuff that makes you sort of stand out. So quite a lot of garlic and ginger, guys. Give that a nice mix. I mean, as soon as the garlic and ginger's gone in there, you can just smell it. It is gorgeous. So I need that to slightly go a bit golden. <clears throat> Give it another two to three minutes and I'll check up on it shortly. Right, it's been about five minutes. The onions, the garlic, the ginger, the garam masala spices are caramelizing. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's just basically frying in that oil, caramelizing, absolutely gorgeous. Now, let me give it. The reason why this cast iron pan is probably the, my best friend, because it's like a non-stick and the food, it's like a karai. So the food becomes absolutely phenomenal taste. 
It's going quite golden. I think I'm for the next stage now, guys. Right, I'm gonna add the spices now. <clears throat> so, there's half a teaspoon of turmeric, which is the haldi. Uh, this is the extra hot chili powder, two teaspoons. I want it to be nice and spicy. If you don't want it to be too spicy, use half a teaspoon or one teaspoon. Again, if you like really hot Madras, Vindaloo style, go for about four teaspoons. Now, because it's meat, uh, you want some nice earthy, nice flavors. The cumin and coriander, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of coriander. And I'm using garam masala, two teaspoon. It brings a nice pungent, uh, aromatic flavor, nice and uh, sweet and spicy. So it's gorgeous. So that all goes in. Give that a nice mix. So there's quite a lot of oil. So all the spices are basically livening up, awaking up really, awaking to their senses. Now I'm using half a cup of tomato puree guys. Now this is my special tomato puree that I make. Uh, you can use tomato paste or whatever you want. But um, I'll get my editor hopefully to put a link in how I make that tomato puree. So that goes in. Give that a nice little mix. It's already got a nice colour. Now, putting in some natural yogurt. So the yogurt goes in. This helps marry up all the spices and it brings another dimension into the cooking. A nice little richness to it and it also helps all the spices marinate and cook together so mix that nice trust me guys if you just cook this sauce and eat the sauce in the end it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous so I've got it on a medium low heat now because I, I don't want the spices to burn and I'm gonna cook this out for about five ten minutes In a few minutes uh, you can always add a bit of water guys but today I've got sufficient amount of oil in there because this is a very traditional dish so I think all the spices are cooked and it's looking beautiful now these are the bad boys now look at these lamb chops guys I'm gonna put them in so, Basically, I'm fry, I, want, I need to fry the lamb in the oil and the spices. Because it's lamb, it's not going to take too long. Half an hour cooking process. The lamb is nicely coated, and the, the, here are two chopped tomatoes. So that goes in. This is going to build a nice thick sauce, like a gravy for the lamb. So the tomato brings a nice flavor to it. So that's gone in. Now I'm going to raise the temperature to about medium high. Put the lid on give it a few minutes and then we'll come and have a check up <clears throat> now I'm gonna throw in some green chilies you can um, add the chilies at the beginning or the end no problem I'm, I'm, I'm adding it now I'm just giving it a slice so the flavor of the chili come out be careful do it on the chopping board um, if you're doing it at home guys so there's about six six green chilies these are, I've been told are very spicy. So 
That goes in. Let me get my lime and mix. You can add some water. I'm not going to because the lamb should release water and fat and that's the natural flavours really. So be careful it doesn't stick. If you're using a stainless steel pan, it may do. So always give it a mix every few minutes. I'm going to put the gas a bit down because I feel it, it, the onions caramelising and sticking to the bo bottom a bit. So I just need all the onions and everything to soften up and for the lamb to sort of soften up too and all the flavours will start coming out. Got my measuring cup today to help you so this is just one cup of water I need the lamb to cook so now the water's there medium high heat and make sure this cooks so I'll leave that alone for about five ten minutes I'm just gonna ask my cameraman to zoom in here for a bit, just to show you how. So, see the fat of the lamb. Like when you go to the Turkish grill houses, the lamb chops that they do is absolutely gorgeous because they keep the fat on, lightly marinate it, so you can taste the flavor of the lamb. So in this curry dish, you'll see basically the meat is gonna fall off the bone and you'll see the flavors and the fat, it just brings another dimension into the cooking guys. So, so like I said, I just checked up on it. It looks excellent. It's cooking away nicely. Um, since I put the lamb in, it's about just under 10 minutes so it needs another 10 20 minutes to get cooked out really and we're going to be nearing our finishing the dish it's been a few minutes i don't want it to stick to the bottom so i'm gonna give it yep no it hasn't done but this is where all the flavor comes out basically i want all the water that i use the cup of water i want all that water to evaporate basically but I like to do this and I, I like to find nice little chunks of tomato when I'm eating it so that tomato goes in I've already used two teaspoons of garam masala but this is just for like a garnish I'm just using about half a teaspoon of garam masala going to bring a nice more nice aromatic uh, fragrance to the dish so the tomatoes are in now this is just uh, for my uh, presentation I'm just going to use um, some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Let that sweat from the heat. So I'll give this another five minutes and I think it'll be ready. Just been literally a couple of minutes. Um, again, just be careful. You don't want the curry to stick to the bottom, which is slightly doing now. So basically I'm gonna put the gas a bit down Okay, I'm going to 
and put the gas a bit down. Now, for all you health conscious guys, the secret is now take some oil out. So just press it down with the spoon. I needed all this oil to cook because I needed the onions, the spices to be almost fried guys. And obviously you got the fat from the lamb. As you can see the oil is very thick so that's the fat from the lamb. I'm not going to take all of it out, I'm going to take a bit out because this is where the flavour is. And if you don't mind then keep the oil in it. And remember I want you to follow these recipes because I want it to how I do it because you're going to have the maximum flavour and it's going to be better than any restaurant food that you've ever had. So there you go, it's still got some of the fat and it's on very low heat and I'm going to let this cook for five minutes and it's done. So the last ingredient obviously the coriander and dish is ready now I'm gonna plate up lamb is cooked I'm gonna plate up now guys I'm gonna plate up now I hope you enjoyed this uh, lamb chop traditional authentic uh, Buna style dish and um, it was cooked basically on the bone and it's had its uh, fat on it. It gave it that, brought out a flavour to another level um, so you must give it a go. It's phenomenal flavour, you won't regret it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous and it's well worth it. So and again I want to thank uh, some of my subscribers who have actually driven down to the restaurant and they really enjoyed the food. So Latif's in Osage, uh, Stoke on Trent, Cheshire East, Staffordshire Border. So if you liked what you enjoyed, like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.